its nature itself because by virtue of its ability to rapidly multiply uh, it has a tendency to recur however the risk that an individual patient has to develop a recurrence depends upon several factors it depends upon the site it depends upon the stage at the time of diagnosis and treatment then how well the surgical uh, how well he has responded to the treatment and if the patient has undergone surgery what is the quality of the surgery that the patient has undergone uh, apart from several other factors these are the important factors which will determine if the patient is likely to develop a recurrence or not if the patient is likely to develop a recurrence the risk of developing this is maximum or highest during the first 2 years of their treatment hence we usually uh, advise the patients to be on regular follow up every 3 monthly for the first 2 years and subsequently we reduce the interval of follow up so that if the patient is likely to develop a recurrence or has developed a recurrence then we can detect it early and treat the disease early uh, during these follow up visits we usually perform a focused clinical examination and also advise necessary imaging tests so that if there is any suspicious lesion we can identify we can raise the concerns we can subject it to further evaluation by a biopsy or an fnac whether to confirm or refute the diagnosis yes the head and neck cancer patients uh, because of the mutilating surgeries that they undergo on because of the radiotherapy induced side effects because of the fibrosis induced by radiotherapy and they usually have a difficulty in swallowing speaking and even uh, voice production also especially for the laryngeal cancers so the rehabilitation services what we what we call them uh, are form a crucial uh, component in the treatment of head and neck cancers these rehabilitation services will start from the time we plan we uh, start planning the treatment so if for a mutilating oral cancer surgery so we we'll think about the reconstruction options if we are uh, considering the removal of a mandible that is a lower jaw then we think of uh, rehabilitating the patient with reconstruction using a uh, replacement with a bone that is from the fibula from the leg so we start thinking about rehabilitating the patient from the time we start thinking to treat the patient and after treatment Uh, the patients may have a difficulty in swallowing because of the spill out of food and drinks from the mouth or it may be uh, hard for them sometimes to move the food from the mouth into the esophagus by swallowing they may also have some change in the voice sometimes they may have a loss of speech and articulation disturbances so we have a specialized uh, specialty that is the speech and swallow therapy so where we where in the specialist will train a range of motion exercises so uh, as early as possible we start it as early as possible after the uh, surgery or radiotherapy so that the swallowing function swallowing function the speech functions are restored as early as possible so uh, these they will train and regarding special techniques by means of which they can push the bolus from the oral cavity into the uh, pharynx or the esophagus so that it can be subsequently swallowed and the speech therapy is also in such a way that uh, they will evaluate the speech problems and identify the ways to uh, improve their ability to communicate they may not be able to regain it to the normal preoperative status but the communication will be effective enough for them to lead a good quality of life and when we are considering a mutilating laryngectomy surgery for an advanced laryngeal cancer then a patient is likely to develop complete loss of speech because the voice box is removed so here the voice rehabilitation is usually considered and planned during the surgery itself we will be uh, use a specialized technique called as the tracheoesophageal puncture prosthesis wherein a valve is inserted between the larynx and the esophagus and which will help in generating voice that can be modulated and a voice speech can be articulated through the movements of the tongue the other alternative is a, an, an electro larynx is a, which is a battery operated machine that produces sound for the patient to create a voice so this uh, rehabilitative services are available wide across the country and each and every head and neck cancer unit treating uh, treating these patients are well equipped with this rehabilitative services